I like to think of myself as a sommelier in training. I know all the Reds, the Merlots, the Malbecs. If I can get crazy, I'll do like a white Zinfandel or a rosé or... Can I or... ask you a personal question? Yeah, of course. I'm an open book. And you promise to take it seriously and give me an honest answer? Okay, so how much money does Bill Gates have to donate to Africa for you to agree to let him fuck you in the ass? Wait, what? You said you'd take it seriously and give me an honest answer. Look, I'm not poor. I'm not going to do that. Sure, you're not poor, but the kids in Africa are. And let's just say the money goes straight to them, okay? No bureaucracy bullshit or custom agencies. You can even earmark it. What do you say? That's ridiculous. I am not for sale. But I think if the offer is a billion dollars, even Mother Teresa should have done it. I mean, Operative word here being should, not would, of course. Mother Teresa? Yeah, but it, it's not the money, it's what the money can buy. Okay, a billion dollars can save millions of people from dying of starvation, lack of clean water, lack of medical supplies. Even if doing this would send her to hell, isn't sacrificing oneself for the greater good what she believed in? Yeah, I guess. Good. So now that we both agree that Everyone who's decent should take it up the butt for a million lives. What's your price? Uh, a hundred million dollars? Not bad. Ten million dollars. You can do a lot with that money. Five grand? And a really nice fat Reuben sandwich. Okay, so let's renegotiate. What if the offer was $99 million? Uh, maybe. $9 million? I'm gonna have to think about that. Four grand, plus a really good Reuben. Mm, yeah, I guess. Okay. But what if we lower the price another 10%, another 20%? Let's find your bottom line here. Um, no, no. That is as low as I'll go. Oh, I don't believe that for half a second. But let's just say for the sake of argument that is your final price. But even if it's not a million lives, even if it's one life that you'll save with one hour of uncomfortable sex, we all should still do it. An hour, huh? Well, hopefully he's more of a five-minute man. There you go. So if a kid's right here with a gun to his head and he says, take it up the ass or this kid gets it, you do it, right? Yeah, I guess so. Good. But a bullet through the brain is such a quick way to die. Dying of starvation is long and painful. Do you even know how much money it costs to sponsor a kid in Africa? It's a buck a day. One. That's it? Yeah, so would you rather take it up the ass or take out your wallet and go to savethechildren.org so this doesn't happen? Uh, do they take American Express? Food for thought, right? This kid doesn't want my sandwich, does he? Wait, what? No amount of money is going to get me to sell myself out. I just don't care enough about strangers to let myself be violated that way. Wait, you wouldn't... You wouldn't take one hour of uncomfortable sex to save millions of lives? No. What if it's one kid with a gun to his head? You don't do it, he dies. I, I didn't put the gun to the kid's head. I, I'd have to walk away. Wow, okay. If that were true, if you would really let a kid die to save your precious virgin ass, then you... You're a selfish asshole. Literally. So, what's your price? Wait, so Bill Gates himself is doing the fucking? Sure, why not? 
And I'm just imagining myself standing in a room in front of a team full of his lawyers, and Bill Gates is just sitting in the corner in his tidy whities <laughs> being like, come on people, let's make the deal, what am I paying you for? <laughs> God, that's a nice visual. Don't avoid the question. What's your number? Boy, what if I agree to do it and then Bill drops his drawers and his thing falls to his knees? Uh, I've never thought about that before. Exactly. Bill Gates could be packing some serious dick. We don't know.